In the second, the second and third episodes. I'm just going to talk to you now. <laughs> get the exact plot points. Um, so basically, Jared shows me a, a video of, of like the video of my mom, which is supposed to be really beautiful and heartfelt, and obviously Courtney kills it. So uh, I let, they let me do the first take. I open the laptop. It's my mom. She's beautiful and she's crying and it's nice. And then around the second or third take, Jared just brings the laptop in. Anyway, I brought you something. Please, have a seat. Before you were born, your mom left you a message. Yeah, I know you have a bunch of questions. Hopefully this is the start. Right, yeah, here, I'll, uh... There you go. And obviously, Courtney kills it. So, uh, I let, they let me do the first take. I open the laptop. It's my mom. She's beautiful and she's crying and it's nice. And then around the second or third take, Jared just brings the laptop in. And I'm like, oh, okay, like about to see my dead mom. Open the laptop up, bunch of dicks. Um, <laughs> Let me just say, very professional work in the world. It's very complex. Mm hmm The pizza man truly loves this babysitter. Why does he keep slapping her rear? Perhaps she's done something wrong. You watching porn? <laughs> You probably can't do that at your job because you're like, you're like, I might get fired for this. I was actually very concerned that I was going to get fired because I was laughing too much. Um, they're like, this guy can't get through a take without laughing. Like something's wrong with him. It's getting worse, not better. That's the problem. Hey, it never gets better. <laughs> Hi, um, I just want to say that I love you both very much, and I think, I believe I speak on behalf of everyone in this room that we're all thankful for everything that both of you have done for the Supernatural family. So, my question is, is if you guys can tell a story of a prank that you guys have pulled behind the scenes. <laughs> There's more coming down the pipe, you'll see. I think, I, I believe they call it, uh, Hazy Part 1. Right? Yeah. So, Initiation Part 1? Yeah, yeah. Um, so there will be more parts. Um, it, it's Good luck. Alright, we're good to go. Really? Yeah. The, uh, sheriff gave her the old Arabian goggles. <laughs> This is right about the time where Alex is like, wait, how many episodes do I have to do this year? <laughs> Specific, it's more spur of the moment. I, I laugh constantly because we have, like this episode, we have a lot of uh, actors and actresses in it, and they're all very talented. And it's happened to a who's who of like fine actors that I think should work for the past, and fans of this and that, to come to me on the show. Uh, and it's, it's, it makes me laugh to see them watch us, and we're goofing around and this and that. They call action and do break in the character, and they're like, wait, wait, what, what? Wait, 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 wait we're shooting, wait, what? And they come on sort of like a couple steps behind us, much like Alexander was. Uh, so off the top of my head, it's not the thing It's more just, we have a good time. We, we, uh, the people who come on our show, it's just wonderful. They're always like, hey, y'all have a great set. Like, this is a good place to be, fun place to work. And I think I'm trying to keep it. Nothing malicious. Just sort of like moving around. We had a scene the other day with Misha, and, and it was just three of us. And, uh. This isn't Benjamin's blade. Is that an orgasm? We have to go. You know what? <laughs> I almost You're almost made there, it. man. Did the bunker's warding just fail? Bunkers warding. <laughs> she was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs>
we were literally allowing him to get through his coverage without us changing our yeah, dialogue. Yeah, it's, it's really concerning. Without I'm really nervous. <laughs> kicking him in the crotch or whatever it is. Um, and I just remember going like, this is one of our better pranks. <laughs> <laughs> you know you mess with somebody a lot when you do it, you're like, you like something's wrong. What? Why aren't you throwing anything at me? Why aren't you kicking me beneath the camera? And I don't, I don't think it was for any reason. I think, yeah. I, I think we were tired. Probably. We were like, uh, are we, are we busy trying to deal with something? So like in between shots or something, we were we were dealing with something that was requiring more of our attention. Uh, and so we just forgot to mess with him that day. <laughs> it really threw him off. <laughs> so, yeah, the pranks are less planned and they're just more just kind of impromptu and uh, more just us being super idiots. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Supernaturals. <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural super idiots. <laughs> Supernatural super idiots. <laughs> Doing all this shit like trying to bite my cheeks and things like that to try to not laugh at it. And it's interesting now because um, Alex <laughs> is now trying to do anything and everything that he can not to break. And he's going to that to that that idea of like, I'm gonna get fired. Like I I, I can't yeah, I mean, why, why am I why am I laughing? Why am I breaking? Why why is this? Why am I allowing these idiots to get to me? <laughs> Idiot. Uh, <laughs> it's really just guilt by proximity at this point. I don't help. Put it that way. The first scene that we all had together um, was a really, it was like, I, cause I've been through this now for years and years, uh, almost a decade. You didn't want to switch up the duds? Just looked like a pedophile. <laughs> that is not nice! <laughs> that easy. You didn't want to switch up the duds? Put us up a little bit more casual, you know? Go easy on him, he's a idiot. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> where every time we're in a scene together, I'm basically abused by the crew. <laughs> And it's very hard. There was at that one time when you actually apologized to me the next day because it was so bad. Remember that? <laughs> um, I legitimately fell back. Yeah, back I guess you should. Like it was. It went to a point of no return. Yeah. And we didn't stop. And, and, um, and so I've been through that, and I know the pain, and I know the pain of the fact that the director is always in another room watching on the monitor, so they don't see the shit that you guys, you're doing. Off they, camera. They just see what I'm doing on camera, and they're like, Misha, come on, man, pull it together. And I'm like, that's not fair! Somebody is touching my gonads! Yesterday said that he had a hard time. Sorry. <laughs> Misha said yesterday that he had a hard time filming. Did you pull any pranks on him while you were guys filming? Who was this? Misha. That we had a hard time. Filming. No, he said that he had a hard time filming. Yesterday. Like this, yeah, yesterday or like. On two Friday, days ago. his one and only day this month. <laughs> um. Well. Yeah! You know, and I, 
I was just thinking, I was just thinking, and all you fuckers, you just stood by. And you yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, you're not my friend, Brad. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm not my friend. friend. Yeah. His eyes were on me, and he kept like looking back. <laughs> you're not my friend. <laughs> We get paid for this, Misha. I have no friends here. <laughs> We're all friends. Ralph. Hug it out, hug it out, <laughs> hug it out. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>